You're watching The Road Show on WPRI 12. You've put us in a very delicate position, really. Um, you know, I apologize, uh, uh, We have to let you go, I'm afraid. I'm sorry, it's the end of the road. Morning in the buzz. Jermaine Jones officially kicked off American Idol. Producers let Jermaine go last night after they discovered he has four warrants out for his arrest, none of which they knew about. Producers say they became particularly worried when they found out Jermaine had used false names with police. Our friends at TMZ talked to the producers of Idol who told them that many of the kids uh, appear on the show are entangled in legal situations, but as long as they are honest about it, they help to clear it up and get the situation taken care of. They went on to say if Jermaine would have been honest, the same would have been true for him as well. Other Idol contestants are surprised by what happened because they had no idea what was going on. Take a look. Um, it was one of those things that, you know, they just sort of all pulled us into a room together and, um, and let us know yesterday. Obviously, we were sort of sworn to secrecy. We knew something was up because he wasn't around, but we just didn't know what it was. And then once we seen it on television, we were all devastated and we're like, oh my gosh. I really wish we could have said goodbye to him because he was all of our, one of our closest friends. And we've all grown so close together and it was really surprising and really upsetting to see somebody leave like that. So the big question is, uh, do you think he, uh, you know, they did the right thing by, by letting him go? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I think they did the right thing and the wrong thing. Here's why. I think they did the right thing in letting him go because not only do you have one warrant, you mm -hmm. have four warrants. Yeah. You lied to the police. Did you not think that they were going to somehow dig that up? I uh -huh. mean, there have been people in Idol Pass who have gotten in, in trouble for mm -hmm. other things. I think even, you know, smaller offenses, yeah, smaller offenses for yeah. that matter. So just... Come out and say it. I think they did the the wrong thing, though, with the package that they put together. How they did it, it was this, oh, this sad goodbye to this great singer. And all I could think of was, are you kidding me? Yes. Does he have a great voice? Of course. Mm -hmm. But he lied to the police, and he has warrants out for his arrest. Goodbye. Yeah. Yep. I, I also think they did the, you know, did the right thing. I mean, I'm sure it was clearly marked on the, you know, the application when they fill it out. You know, do you have any <laughs> warrants up for your arrest? Do you have any trouble that you may want to let us know about? Mm -hmm. You know, one, one warrant, you can say, well, maybe I forgot about it. Right. <laughs> but four, I don't think there's any chance that you're forgetting about four arrest warrants. And then the whole changing the name thing and even more, you know, we were talking about this this morning. Uh, the whole, you know, lie about his father mm -hmm. that, he, that he made up, you know, Oof. just to maybe get some uh, sympathy votes mm -hmm. also was another reason to to get them off the show. I'm actually really surprised that it's taken this long mm -hmm. for them to find out about That's this. True. You think about people from his hometown who might have known about it. I mean, honestly, four, four warrants. You would have thought someone would have said, hey, when you have your top 25, you know, this guy you might want to take a better look at. That's mm -hmm. That surprised me. Well, what do you think is going to happen now? You know, they've obviously, they usually kick off a contestant, yeah. one, one contestant every week. Now they've kind of done that, but do you think they're going to continue with that tonight? Well, you know, they, I was reading this morning there's a lot of speculation about because he is gone that the judges may have another save mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that they may be able to use uh, you know tonight because they were saying some of these contestants could be in jeopardy uh, the could Ooh, yes. could so, yeah. be the save that they may want to use. <laughs> mm -hmm. And if not, you know, maybe they'll hold on to it. If maybe. they don't use the save tonight, they they always surprise us. So mm -hmm. if it's not tonight, they may do it, you know, in a couple of weeks when they really want to. But I bet you it's going to be based upon the judge's decision. I bet you they're going to figure it out right now, yeah. see who America mm -hmm. voted, and if they want to keep them, they'll do that little switcheroo. Right. And I don't even know if there will be a save. Maybe they just say, hey, it's no elimination yeah. this yeah, we're week. Done. Or maybe they're just going to keep trucking. We'll see. Sorry, see what two happens. people are gone. <laughs> so it is. It's been quite a buzz, and I posted up on Facebook to see what everyone was thinking there. And Eric DeAngelis weighed in. He said he definitely should not continue on the show. Mm -hmm. This was an example of a young man who was probably trying to turn his life around, and the show totally exploited him by airing the confrontation between Jermaine and the producers. This should have happened in private with no cameras, yeah, and all true. they did was sensationalize his criminal record for ratings. That's interesting. Jen Clark Curry says it seems Jermaine knew he would not advance if he told the truth. He lied and was disqualified anyway, so good job, American Idol. The truth will always win in the end. And Lori Arlen says, yes, how dumb was he for going on a national TV with four outstanding warrants? <laughs> a criminal as the next American Idol? I think they handled it just fine. <laughs>